Last year, we visited a lovely spot called Alaskan Anglers Inn. It was our first time hanging out in Gustavus, Alaska and fishing with the lodge. We had so much fun and loved everything they had to offer, we decided to rally up another stoked on fishing charter and go have some fun again. Mother Nature decides when you can and can't go fishing and she can really make or break a trip. But fortunately for us, we had some amazing days on the water with some mind-blowing nature blended in. The halibut fishing was world-class for everyone, so much that a couple of us got a personal best, plus we sprinkle in some black bass and salmon to round out the adventure. Let's go fishing. Oh, 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 ah, it's a monster! <laughs> woo! So you got a big fish, look at him. <laughs> About this, don't I you? love this. This is the best. <laughs> All right. Yeah, stoked, baby. Stoked on fishing. <laughs> Good times, my friend. Stoked on fishing is brought to you by Integrative Marine Systems, Southern California's premier boat and yacht upgrade provider, and by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high quality fishing tackle, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun, and by Fishing No Sorrow, Costa Rica's best kept fishing secret, and by Fish Lab Lures, meticulously crafted and designed for one purpose to catch fish and by Ricante hot sauce radical blends of fruits and vegetables from the lands of Costa Rica since 2011 what's your Pura Vita? Machine, what's going down here buddy you causing problems on day one? <laughs> yes I've been waiting seven months to cause problems yes <laughs> uh, somebody told me don't wait 20 years to do something you wanted to do good find a way find a way and uh, you know thanks to him I've been doing that. I've been going to Canada. I came here. Cedros. And Cedros. Meeting with it. you That's guys. That's probably one of the best words of advice to start our trip off right there. Yeah. So just like what he said, don't wait. A lot of our trips got canceled this year. Costa Rica, Panama, all these fun places because of this COVID stuff. Mm -hmm. But well, hopefully we'll be done with it next year. Yeah. But uh, we're here, Alaska, yeah. our first trip of the year. We're going to have a great time. Oh, we'll, my Aunt Rita. Oh, my gosh. Okay. She is my favorite aunt. I cannot believe that I'm here. And I just am so thankful and grateful. And I'm just so blessed to be here, and I'm super stoked to catch something amazing today. Right. Yeah. You've been, uh, you were talking about being chased by what? Well, I've never been chased by a bear, but I have been chased by a moose before, oh, many times on my bike. And like, if you have dogs, they'll try to chase you. Really? Because they think that they're wolves. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So I think your moose story is pretty legit then. I would say so. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't dreaming it. Or was I? So look, you'll see a bunch of bald eagles around here too. Look, at, there's one sitting right here. Look at him. He's right on the thing right here. Yeah. That's no crow. Yeah, yeah, right there. Look at the bald eagle. What a beautiful sight. He's just chilling. Should we salute it? What's up, bald eagle? Yeah, buddy. Why do they call him bald? That's so cool. Woo! Oh. Salmon fishing, baby! Halibut are getting nervous. Nashim is here. Halibut are getting nervous. Don't forget the coffee run. Nope. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yeah, take this your time thing. on this one. Wow, look at that. <laughs> you don't want to stack because you will end up on TV for sure. <laughs> the Mentaka. Just a bad option. Yeah. yeah. Very bad. An option, but... <laughs> All right, here comes the hey, anglers hey. for the day. All right, here comes the A team. Oh, it's us, Chill Cat. Is that John? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's five, good. Guy, everything good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great morning. <laughs> nice to have stop, you guys dude. back. No, we no, we go, oh. we go, we go. I like it. Should be a beautiful morning for you guys. Smooth water. Okay. Good luck. Okay, thanks, buddy. Yep, you, you bet. Your time, guys, getting on board. This is Justin? Yes, sir. How's How you doing? doing? Good, good, good. We'll say hi when we get on there. Yeah, no problem. There you go, Greg. Oh, are you really? You're being filmed. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Right on. <laughs> Have a good day. See you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Believe it or not, we'd try it. We don't want to catch any fish, but we'd try it. Um, the coast right now is going to get better throughout the week. Right now, it's about six to eight foot out there with a little bit of wind on it. It's supposed to come down over the next couple days. I mean, it is fishable, but it's going to be lumpy and bumpy if you want to do that. Um, otherwise, it's perfect calm in here right now to do some halibut fishing today. Warm up on some halibut. Yeah, I'm good with that. I mean, okay. It's be out there tomorrow with perfect timing on it. 
So. All right. Yeah. Huh? I like it. That? Eight foot. Yeah. And that swell's dropping a little bit. Yeah, it's, little bit. it's uh, supposed to drop tomorrow to four to five, and then oh, continue. Nice. We had a big storm over the weekend. You guys actually got lucky because it was supposed to be really bad, like uh, these the first three days, but the storm kind of kicked in sooner and, and fizzled out. So. Sweet. Yeah, it was supposed to be like ten to twelve for a couple days. So. What are you looking for? Uh, checking current speed to see how it is. We're gonna we're gonna be right in the tide exchange here in about an hour, so the tide is gonna slow up. When it kicks in, it's gonna kick in really hard and fast. We have 18 feet. So like anywhere, current makes a big deal here, right? Yep. Yeah. Everything in salt water, man, is is all on current. It's all on tide. You know, too much is is really hard to fish. You know, you can't jig a lot. You can't. Um, you really can't bait fish very well either, you know? Yeah. So we want enough current, but not too much current. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swing right around behind you. You're all right there. I just wanna let you know. Oh, dude, you see that, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we got a bunch of different stuff going. But even. it is about the scent trails, what we understood yeah, from last exactly. year. The pink salmon. So you, you said you put some of that down. Is that? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the pink salmon is uh, is our go-to usually. Uh, yeah, hopefully we get some uh, good pinks running while we're trolling this week too, so we can get some really good fresh bait as well. And then you know any sculpin actually work really good for uh, jig bait and bodies do. So they do. Okay. Yeah, those work really good. So we'll run the threes right now. It looks like we got a decent amount of surface current. There's probably not too much bottom current right now, um, but we'll see, because the tide is dying out, so it's perfect time right now. Mm -hmm. What pound weight is that again? Three pounds. Three pounds, yeah. Um, yeah, so you want a nice, decent angle on them. It looks like the threes have a good drop on them right now, so nothing crazy. Okay. How deep are we fishing? 140, I think we settled in right now. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna check out the salmon steak. Yep, that one's good to go. All right. And then if you guys want any rods you're not fishing now, we can put up top or put down below. Whatever works for you Perfect. guys, you can put Perfect. inside the boat. Okay. Let's get some of these rods out of there. Yep. Yeah. Well, I got you, Captain. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Captain Justin Parker from uh, Florida, and I just love to spend my summers up here. So. How many summers have you been up here? Uh, off and on, about 13. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So far, so uh, like you said, we've been getting nibbles already within the first 30 minutes, right? Yeah, I don't even think we've been down 30 minutes yeah. yet, have we? No, exactly. Yeah, and they're no. just taste testing right now, just waking up like we are. Kind of like shark fishing, you know, that you're getting that scent trail out there and, uh, and really getting them down there with some good baits. And then usually they'll move up that scent trail, the fish will work in. It takes a good hour or so to get the bite going. Kind of like that, and then you'll know whether you got something going or not. There you go. Yeah, there's something down there. Oh, yeah. there you go. There you go. He's getting a little more serious. Oh, the sucker. He's still nibbling. Anywhere near as far back. Oh, there we go. Oh. There you go. Oh. Hit him, hit him, hit him. That's a big one. Real, real, real. Oh, real, 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 real. Got a real. That's big. That's big. That's a good fish there. Man, oh man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll talk to you tomorrow. You're good. Good <laughs> Lord. This one I'm just gonna take out of the way for now, yeah. just because that fish is gonna probably do some crazy stuff. Good Lord. You want me to reel? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing, dude. Gold. It's ready to go, Ryan. That was a legit bite right there, huh? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> so you didn't have to wait for him. No. <laughs> uh, luckily. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones I like. He's, oh, there he there goes. Go. That's a good head shake there. Watch this one right here, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call, Ryan. That that's a great call. Way. It is under it. There you go. Yeah, good call. Taller. Okay, right. Got him up, Ooh. Ooh. Might be a keeper. It's gonna be really hard to tell. I'm gonna have to pull him in. Back left is just getting a bit.
Catch and release. Like. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a warm up fish. That's a warm up. Uh, good lord. Yeah, okay. Know, felt good, man. Felt good. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, and as long as it's fast, as long as it's a cooking baby, it's gonna last. The hill you rock, you feel it like a drum. You play it with guitars, you shooting from a gun. And keeping up the rhythm, as steady as a clock. And do you know where to play it hard? Hit us up at recante.com and use the discount code STOKED at checkout to receive your well-deserved discount. What's your Pura Vida? Never know. You know. There you go. Grind, 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 grind. There you go. Yep. Nice, Greg. Surface right there. What's that? It's a salmon chasing a bait. Yeah. See a little fish jumping out? The salmon's going after it right there, and there's another one there. Okay, so we brought casters. Is that can yeah. I feel like a crocodile at that or something? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because the tide's just slowing down now, so we might be able to start jigging here in a moment. We'll try instead of dropping another bait rod down. Here he is. There we go. Let's see here. He's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah. That's a keeper. So you can see it's a perfect keeper size. And he ate a pink salmon head. Look at that guy. But yeah, it's a perfect keeper. Wow, awesome. So perfect first fish to start off with. We'll go up from there. Yeah. Great. God, it's a beautiful fish, man. Look at those colors. Nice job, buddy. Yeah. 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 All right. One on the deck. We got a keeper. Sweet. That's a great fish. Let me get you some bait. I'll get that okay, down. so how many? Is it one per? Or one per person per day. Okay. Uh -oh, That's a good uh -oh, bite. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There you go. There you go. Grab Greg, get him. Get him, hit him, oh, Greg. Oh, he's on there. <laughs> Let's see. Look at this. You can just barely see this. Awesome. Ooh. Right. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's right here. Hey, that's a little small. Little yeah. Great. A little shaker. Yep. Nice circle hook, perfect release. He's uh -huh. gone. Uh -huh. That's why you guys do the circle hook. Yep. And that jig should be able to fish really good right now, too, if anybody wants to jig. We can... Great. Salmon right there. Salmon right swirling right in front of the seagull there. See him on the, yeah, yeah, oh, see yeah, him right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, right out here, right where you're drawing. Yeah, just beyond this. See him there? Yeah, so, no, would those be king or, or No, nah, silvers or, or pink. Yeah. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Yeah, that was a good cast. That's right in his vicinity. How big do the silvers get? Um, oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Nice. I got this rolling. I got this. Oh, it's a big king. The king? The king. Oh, king. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's a real a couple more times. You're good. She saw the net. Yeah, you never know whether it's going to be pinks or silvers in here. Would you say oh, she is? Pink. I think it's a big pink. That's all right. It's fresh out of the bait. Right, really right now, I'm on a freaking uh, love. Just does not want to cooperate. Okay. Oh yeah, that's all right though. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Like a rainbow, dude. <laughs> all right. Yeah, awesome, yeah. Ryan. Oh, nice, watch dude. that lure, yeah. she popped out. Wow, how cool wow. is that? I thought she threw her. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? He pops up. We did not do that last year. <laughs> Pretty cool. God, he's like, look at the little hump on him, dude. So yeah, so, so it, it's getting initially ready to go into the rivers. 
So about a couple weeks ago, it probably didn't have the hook nose yet. It'll start to get more, and then these are the humpies. They'll get a huge hump yeah, right look here. Look at that thing. This is a pink. A pink salmon? Yep, pink salmon. So you can see from the light dots, the really small scales, and then the pink, the dots on the tail right there. Yeah, we'll wash him off and then I get a, Dude, get a good photo. Rolled. It was so fun on that light tackle. Oh my gosh. That's exactly why we brought yeah. the stuff. Yeah. Girl cast man. Yeah. You know, this area is known where we're at right now. The box is just some of the best halibut fishing in all of Alaska. So the salmon, you know, as you start to look for like end of August, beginning of September, that's just the most phenomenal fishing up here ever. But the weather can be bad. No, the tide's just too strong in the bottom. This halibut are just laying down there, okay. not wanting to feed. So we'll, we'll go shallow and uh, hopefully we'll be able to jig and, and those fish are probably trying to find a little less current right now. So we got a couple though, right? In the Yep, we got two we in the hold and uh, and then obviously quite a few releases so far. Yep. Tide's picked up a little too strong. Bait, the uh, fishing slowed down a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna go in shallow and uh, try to get it more fishable. Uh, the uh, current's pushing off of almost 300 foot of water up into about 50 foot of water up on a reef. So it's creating big upwellings. It's creating a lot of bait to be pushed wow. up. And uh, so it should be some good halibut fishing and uh, as well as hope we get a few salmon coming through here. Wow, yeah, that is a lot of birds. Well, this is going to be the first place that loses heavy current. So, and then the current's basically going to wrap around, it's wrapping around the island like this. And as the, we get later in the current, the tide ends up like this. So it opens up this whole area to fish. Mm -hmm. and, um, Mm -hmm. And so usually as we start to get the slowdowns, that's when it starts getting real good. See what these threes hold like. Oh yeah, these things are... Hey, right there. Yeah. At the moment, it looks like we should be able to jig really well right now too, if anybody wants to do that. Yeah. Pull it back up. And then we're only in 50 foot, so... It's oh not yeah, like... it's nothing compared to 140. Yeah. So it uh, comes with a swivel on it. You should see. Fish. I came up here to river fish getting bit again. Hey, real oh. There you go. Hey, there you go. That's on. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, always there. Feels better, huh? Yeah. Yeah, come back to the corner here. There you go. So is this thing working? Yeah. Oh, the battery's not in it. It's okay. Greg's got it. Ryan Dorbett. Ooh, nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, a little line every time he's lifting up. Probably a 50 You're gonna feel this one. <laughs> I'm already in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Look at that. Oh, nice. Might be a good keeper, man. Good lord. Good lord. I think it's gonna be a little heavy. Might be the tide Ooh, that uh, that he's good. pulling in. I get a couple more cranks on him, okay. and uh, yeah. and then just walk to your right just a little for me. I'll open up this back area. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think he's gonna be a really good keeper, man. Oh yeah, he's oh. gonna be a good keeper. Nice, man. That's gonna be like a forty-one-ish bit, like a fifty-eight, yeah, man. man. Look at that. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, hold it up for that. Good job, wow, dude. Nice, Look at that thing. Nice, nice dude. Nice. Welcome to Fisherman's Hardware. For a full service, one stop shop, especially on freshwater and saltwater tackle. We carry a great selection of rods, reels, and all the tackle you'll need on your next fishing trip. We also offer rod repair, custom rods, reel repair, and line spooling. We're open seven days a week. We're located at 16942 Gothard Street in Huntington Beach. Give us a call at 714-841-6878. You can catch us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you on the water. What do we do here? Justin moved us in shallow water. Um, we were deeper based on current, uh, pushing and moving, came in. We're and about 50, it was, it, 60 feet of water. Yeah, it took about 20 minutes to get the scent trail going. Um, he just got a nice, I'd say that's, 45 pounds. Holy cow. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, hold it up for that. Good job, wow. dude. Look at that thing. So he knew what he was doing. He put us in a good spot, and there you go. We're catching fish already.
Billy, 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 Billy. Oh, how's it working there, guys? Okay. That's two pounds of weight right here, though, so it's... Two pounds. It's like a pound and a half. Go back down, yeah. Yep, so this... All right, after after about 20 minutes of jigging. All right, that was awesome. Did a little nibble nibble and just set the hook, man. And boy, oh boy. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, he's not uh, foul hooked either because he's coming in straight. That's a good fish. There you go, you got him? Yep. Whoa! 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 Oh, whoa. Easy, big dog! <laughs> Easy, grind him! Trying to steal my thunder! See, that's the way thunder. the jigs are supposed to work. Yeah, there we go. You call it. It's supposed to be constant action. It's just, yeah. for some reason, it was just a little... Wow, that was awesome doubles on the jig! I think the Shallow water, halibut fishing. Good lord! Here he comes. Oh, 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 yeah. oh my goodness, look at oh, this. Oh yeah, you might That's be a my perfect biggest 45. Ooh. Okay, just stay on the rail with me. And just... All right, lift up real slow for me. A little more. Okay, I'm on the leader. God, he's a good fish, he might be in over. But... If I can get a picture, that'd be, that'd be the biggest halibut right there. Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. On the jig! Yeah! That's definitely, hands down, my biggest halibut ever. Well, see, he's got it in his mouth. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Right. We'll have to measure him. He might be just a little over, but we'll have to measure him. Wow. Okay. Let's we'll get some pictures with him. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at this one. Double. Yeah, so that might be a good one, too. So, I think he's going to be over, but... Oh, dude, yours is nice. Holy crud. I mean, that's a great okay, keeper right here. All right. What's he got to be? 45. And he's 44. Oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> Give me one of those, Justin. Perfect, man. <laughs> we keep it, we keep it, we ending on that. Awesome. <laughs> we ending on that. <laughs> Alaskan anglers in, getting it done. So Captain Justin. That's my biggest one. Look at these things. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Yes, done, sir. Right? Yeah, we're done. We got four great charter fish. Yep. We're going to head out and uh, try and see if we can get some black bass out there. And uh, we'll go from there. But it, it should be beautiful, and we'll see what we can do. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Integrative Marine Systems, Southern California's premier boat and yacht upgrade provider, and by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun, and by Fishing No Sorrow, Costa Rica's best-kept fishing secret, and by Fish Lab Lures, meticulously crafted and designed for one purpose, to catch fish, and by Ricante Hot Sauce, radical blends of fruits and vegetables from the lands of Costa Rica since 2011. What's your Pura Vida?